Samita Evangelist Bena Wabi Cornelius Lady Hart Desmond Desmond Brittany Funky Karen Twist Fokwa King Our Minister ADS Super Serial You can't invite an artist a young music minister and he will sing in your church for two or three days or even one day and you allow that music minister to go back empty hands let us be real let us be real people will never know our songs if no one sings them to them even your word your bible say faith commit by hearing and hearing how do you expect these people to love what they don't know People, the people will only love Cameroon songs if someone sings them to them. So if you love Cameroon, recommend Cameroonian songs in your church. And if you don't love Cameroon songs, stop using Cameroonian in your choir. When we get to churches, like we want to do, um, give a special number that is common when we, on Sundays that we have to give special numbers for singing, uh, pretty creepy drama. But when we say spoken word, they often, they, they welcome it. They don't welcome it with open arms. So we, we face it as a challenge, the gospel, that we, we cannot perform it freely because it's not yet known. Sometimes you have disappointment from people, you know, they will give you all the assurance that they're going to be there for you. Maybe when it's a time that you want to do a video shoot and everything and say on the D-Day, nobody shows up. This is so breaking and it's really challenging. In the whole worship session, we have more of us and less of God. So what happens to the scripture that that says that we have to decrease so that he must increase instead we are increasing and god is decreasing it doesn't make sense that the essence of why we are gathering we give just 20 minutes or maybe some miserable 30 minutes to do that thing that we are doing called worship or praise and worship but then in inside the 30 minutes look at it it's the songs that we sing and the activities that we still do they are all about us still the songs that we're singing they are all talking about us we're, all, we're sharing our own personal testimonies we are sharing about god's goodness yes i'm not saying it's bad over the years i've always felt that a genre of music is not acceptable. Not because anybody ever told me that, um, no, Lady Hart, you shouldn't do rap music, but because a lot of people always tell me, why don't you sing, why don't you sing? It makes me feel like what I do is not accepted. And when ministers are invited to ministries to sing or to minister, to perform, you know, it's always about worship. It's always about um how you can praise but in my opinion I, I honestly think that it's this is a problem because many people have centered rap music to be a particular system invite artists or ministers to come and sing but in that platform they'll come and sing a foreign song like earlier mentioned charity begins at home so, when a pastor is inviting a, 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 a minister to come and minister, yeah, it's good to sing foreign songs and also, but where is your identity? If you're a person of uh, a Northwest, you have been called to go to represent your village in a cultural event, are you going to wear a suit to attend that uh, event? Absolutely no. And sometimes we find ourselves actually using people rather than managing them. Or oh, I don't know why they sign people. Is it, uh, if you want to sign someone, it's because you want to promote that person, right? You want to promote that person. You want to bring out something. You want to manage. I'm going to put it as manage. I want to talk about management. It's just, there's just a lot. When we talk about management, it's just a lot. I think the gospel sector have not uh, understood that yet. Because I see so many people going into labels and they are in today, they are out tomorrow. They are in today, they are out tomorrow. And so why should they be in today and out tomorrow? We don't plan for promotion when we are done with the production. 
we plan for promotion before we begin the production and that's where so many artists are feeling promotion should be the first step in every plan now i'll answer the question the first question i was given why do gospel artists think that gospel bloggers are to promote them for free now a lot of times the young people just go okay hey no this is a person that sings very well or maybe he sings or she sings anointing is just flowing everywhere and people are cheering him or people are cheering her and you just feel like that could be a good leader for you the fact he is good the fact the fact that he sings so well the fact that people are applauding him it doesn't mean he is a great leader or a mentor for you because a lot of times when people and um i i and i also i've discovered that Cameroonians <clears throat> have turned to idolize the people that the mentor or the, their mentors or the people that they look up to. I'm not saying you don't have to honor them. There's a difference between you honoring somebody and you just not thinking at all. And sometimes even when they say something, you, you also have to think and you also have to, you know, ask God, the person who called you, go back to your caller. You know, like it was once said, they say, he will call you will fund you.